Yeah. It's like, uh, you, you made a post. I don't know if it was a picture that you made or it was a, it's like a burger and then had like lucky charms, marshmallows or, oh, yeah, or, yeah. or, or something on it. Right. And you're like, it's, it's, it's probably not, you know, what's in the middle. It's probably the, the, the everything that's <laughs> probably the bot. Yeah. It's probably the, yeah, the, just that's, that's what I have shirts that say it's not the meat. It's what else you eat. Mm. What else you eat on top of the meat people. Yes. The, the, they eat fries with, that are cooked in the seed oils they eat the milkshake the soda yeah even the bun it's like highly refined bun you yeah know, like these things are not good for you the meat is the best part mm. and it always gets the blame always gets the blame in the environmental side and the nutrition side yeah why so why, why are seed oils so bad and why should people stay away from them yeah this is kind of my new thing I, I i didn't realize it was such a problem until in the last couple of years but a lot of great scientists and doctors like dr kate shanahan are like really speaking out on this she even went on bill maher's show and talked about it to the world as sort of a mainstream audience that, that these are highly industrial seed oils they are not natural fats and if just to start at a high level just that's i mean it's kind of like an obvious thing that we should choose the natural fats we've always been eating that are genes expect or our bodies are used to mm. compared to these new ones that involve a 16 step process and so if anyone wants to look up industrial seed oils which euphemistically are called vegetable oils it's right, right, very right. gross they started out as like machine lubricant they're like hey we have all those left leftover cotton seeds let's make machine lubricant and then they're like oh we could sell this to people and they had to deodorize it and use hexane to to do all these different things. So there's this 16 step process. It's like you take it's basically sludge and then they ex press some oil out of it and then make it some somewhat palatable. Uh, and th this has a high uh, omega six seed uh, ratio, right? Mm -hmm. So these are the polyunsaturated fats that are more unstable and our bodies don't do well with. To put it simply. It's just, these are these fats that our body uh, don't do well with, like our cell membranes uh, don't want to be made up of these polyunsaturated fats and they have all these open bonds. The saturated fats, right? The word saturated means they are full. They are full, mm. like all of their bonds are full. So there's not these like free areas that can oxidize. So oxidization, it's exposing to oxygen. And so mm. that's what happens, and especially when you heat oil. So back to French fries, if you heat a bunch of these seed oils and they have all these open bonds, they become oxidized and terrible for you. Mm. So really the one main thing people can do for the health, screw you know high carb, low carb, high fat, low fat, anything, just avoid the seed oils, especially ones that are fried. And, yeah. and this it's funny, it's like people are like, oh, why is fried food bad? It's not fat in general. It's like people are just like fat, blaming fat. It's like, no, it's you're frying it in the worst kind of fat and oxidizing yeah. it. So all I mean, you could go, you can get beef tallow fries or you can make your own, uh, you know, fried food in yeah. beef tallow and it will be far, far different. Than, yeah. than the seed oils what what are the, what are the seed or the the vegetable oils or let's call it the lubes right what what are the uh -huh. lube um see if people like lube oil you pr they probably want to do well but you what are, what are... <laughs> the machine lube oil, industrial lube oil yeah that's yeah. canola sunflower corn uh soybean con seed oil any of these oils that are from seeds or well mainly they're from seeds we call them vegetable oils but they're all really from seeds yeah so okay. the good oils are, there's really only three and they're from fruits. So that's olive oil. If you can find the real good olive oil, right. that's pretty expensive. There's a lot of fake olive oil. There's a study that shows they did like analysis and they, it was like 80 or more percent were like fake and they're cut with canola oil. So if yeah, you get my, really my wife's good, family is Greek. So they're like, you need to have the pure and the Greek olive oil they get is literally from the olive trees. It's just mm -hmm. this massive glass bottle that they literally just put it in there themselves. And it's, you know, doesn't have a screw top. It's got like a little wine bottle top on there. And they always take it back from Greece. And they always, mm. you know, they're little olive oil snobs, which as they should be, right? I love that. It, exactly. And it, it has like that tartness in the back of your mouth. And it, yeah. it's that is real. And that is natural. And that is obvious that we can just press some olives very simply and we get oil. Yeah. Avocado oil is another good fruit oil. You can press, you know, avocados are very fatty and oily. You can imagine we can press those and get some oil. And then coconut oil, very fatty. We can mm. do a simple, it's not a 16 step process with hexane and all these other things. Sure. It's a fatty thing. These are three fruit oils and they are good. They're fine. 
Okay. The, all the rest of the oils are not good. Okay. So, and, I mean, I, yeah, I just started using just fats. Like I just save, you know, good beef fat and use that to cook in because I just rather have saturated fat. 